In this problem, we're told a kangaroo can jump over an object 2.5 meters high. A, calculate its vertical speed when it leaves the ground, and B, how long is it in the air, right? So the first thing you always want to do is draw what's going on. So we have this kangaroo, right? And we know it's going to jump with some speed, right? So V sub zero, we're just going to say is question mark because we don't know. And so it's going to jump with some speed, right? And we know it can jump 2.5 meters in the air, right? So we're going to jump 2.5 meters in the air over this object. And that's basically the maximum height it can jump. Right, and so we know at its maximum height, its velocity is going to be equal to zero. Because when an object reaches its maximum height, right, it can't go any higher, meaning in that moment it's at its maximum height, it's not moving. So it's basically velocity is zero. Okay, so that's basically what we know. And so what we want to do is just write down the given. So what information are we given? So we're not given the initial velocity, that's what we're going to be solving for in one of the problems. We're given the change in its y right, which is basically how high it's going to travel. So we know it's change in its position is 2.5 meters, right, and it's positive because it's going up 2.5 meters. So that's the change in y. We know uh, its acceleration is going to be minus 9.8 meters per second squared, right? Acceleration due to gravity, right, gravity pulls things down, so it's negative because uh, the acceleration is downwards, right? So that's the acceleration, we assume that. And then we know its final velocity is going to be 0 meters per second, right? Because at the end of it, this interval where it jumps 2.5 meters, its velocity is 0. So we know these three kinematic variables now. And what we can do is go ahead and start with A, where we solve for V sub 0, right? We want to find the vertical speed when it leaves the ground, so V sub 0. And if you look at our equations uh, on the right, we have delta, right? We have delta y, we have A, and we have V. So if we want to find V sub 0. The equation I think we should use is this one, right? Which is V squared equals V sub 0 squared plus 2a times delta, it says delta x, but we can use delta y, it makes no difference. And so all we got to do is just plug in, and if we want to solve for v sub 0. So v, uh, v is just 0 squared, which is 0, equals v sub 0 squared, plus 2 times a, which is minus 9.8, times delta y, which is 2.5. So solving for it, we can minus v sub 0 squared to the other side. Right, you get minus v sub 0 squared equals 2 times minus 9.8 times 2.5. Uh, your minus signs are going to cancel, and then we can square root both sides to get rid of that, right, that. So basically you get v sub 0 equals the square root of 2 times 9.8 times 2.5. So what you want to do is just plug this in. So the square root of 2 times 9.8 times 2.5. And when you do this, what you're going to get that it equals is 7. So v sub 0 is 7 meters per second. That's going to be its initial velocity. So v sub 0 is 7 meters per second. That's going to be the vertical speed when it leaves the ground, or your answer to A. So this is A. Now let's move on to B. So for B, we're trying to find how long it's in the air. So let me write this in here. So now we know its initial velocity is 7 meters per second. And now what we want to find is T, basically how long it's in the air, right? From the initial part to when its velocity is 0, or it travels 2.5 meters. So basically what we want to do is just use the same variables to solve for T. So we can use any of the equations except for 4 because it, can, it doesn't contain t, so how can you solve for it? But uh, we can use any of these, but I'm going to choose the first one just because I think it's the easiest, which is v equals v sub 0 plus a times t. Because we have v sub 0 now, uh, we have a, and we have a v, so we can solve. So all you want to do is just plug in. So v we know is 0 equals v sub 0, which is 7, plus a, which is minus 9.8. So 7 plus, or plus a negative is still negative. So 7 minus 9.8t, minus 7 from both sides, uh, and you'll get minus 7 equals minus 9.8t, and then you can just divide by nine, uh, minus 9.8 to get this by itself. So minus 7 divided by 9.8, you're going to get t is equal to 0.714, and then it's going to be in seconds, right, because this is time. So you can round however you want. You can just say 0.7. I'm just going to leave it like this, though. So just make sure you round however your teacher wants you to. But basically, your answer to B, or how long it's in the air, is 0.714 seconds. So this is B, this was A, and yeah, so these are going to be your answers, and hopefully uh, you found this useful.